you absolutely positively have to run a brand campaign, no exceptions for anybody, period. And I'm so sorry to be so bullish on this point. I've just been, um, I've been through the ringer on this one, y'all. So just real quick preface, if you don't know what a brand campaign is, inside of Google, you, you can bid on your own name. So your own URL, your own brand name, uh, brand names on your products, your own like name name. Um, you have to run a brand campaign. And, and, and there's a bunch of reasons for this. I'm gonna try to go through each of them in sequence. Um, but before I do that, I wanna to talk to you about why people don't wanna do it. Because we have clients tell us all the time, well, I'm gonna get those clicks anyway. And the answer is like, maybe, maybe you are, but th that's A, not guaranteed. And then B, there's a whole bunch of reasons for you to run a brand campaign, even if you were going to get those clicks. But they feel that because somebody's searching for their name specifically, they're going to show up organically and, and that person's looking for them. The intent is there. So they feel like, why would I pay for this if I already know I'm going to get this? And the problem is it's multifaceted. So um, number one, there's no guarantee that somebody clicks on your ad. Uh, your competitors can bid on your name, by the way. And if your competitor is showing up first, people are so acclimated to click on the first click, I can, uh, or the first result. I can tell you, we have we have a ton of um, clients. We run competitor campaigns. We bid on competitor names, and then we have clients who are fielding phone calls for their competitors, where the the customer thinks that they're the competitor. So they don't even pay attention. They just search for, you know, like Acme Co. And then they see, oh, Acme Co., um, you know, the, the first result. And then they click on it and, and they assume that it's, it's the result when it's not. So um, you protect your brand when you run a brand campaign. That's number one. Number two, let's say that you were going to get the click. You don't get to direct them. Uh, you don't get to decide where that click goes. Google's optimizing your site based off of what it thinks um, needs to be presented. And so if somebody searches for your brand, there's no guarantee that the, the web page that they're presented with is the web page that you want. Um, and, and that's, you know, that's true across all contexts because when you run a brand campaign, you can run specific avenues, specific funnels, specific, you know, uh, uh, pages based off of logic that you define inside of that campaign, which is pretty cool, right? Um, and so you can, you can, um, route them in a direction that's relevant to where they came from or, or, you know, what it is that you know about that particular prospect, um, using something akin to RLSA. Um, you also have the ability to acquire way more data, you know, something over 30% of Google's conversions, according to Google are, are assisted conversions, meaning that they can't actually track all the way through the conversion funnel. Well, when you run a brand campaign, the, the, the clicks are super cheap because you're so relevant. So you're paying like a buck a click or something, maybe less. Um, and then it gives you a full purview of the data. So instead of these big, you know, open blocks of, of um, conversion path that, that are missing, you pay a little bit of money and now you have a, a complete continuity with your brand. And when you start running Google ads, a bunch of things happen. The first one is your competitors start bidding on your name. Google shows you to your competitors in Auction Insights. So Google's gonna say, hey, this person's beating you 20% of the time. And if you're smart, uh, you're going to run out and you're going to start bidding on the competitor name. That's part of our playbook. That's one of the things that we do. It's, it's, it's intelligent. There's nothing wrong with it. Well, if your competitors are bidding on your name, you need to bid on your name too because you're always going to pay less and show up first because you're the more relevant result. You have to really screw up for that not to be the case. Um, so the clicks are cheap. It gives you full scope of data. Um, it helps you protect your brand. It makes sure that you're routing customers to where you want, to, want them to go. And, and when you're running Google Ads, especially if you're running like, you know, uh, DSA, Smart Shopping, um, uh, Discovery, um, anything display-based, people are going to see your URL, see your brand, see your logo, see you, see the, your company name, and they're going to start Googling you. Um, and we've seen this with Smart Shopping especially. We had a client have, uh, they had an increase in 500,000 um, impressions over the course of a quarter um, on a 10 grand a month spend. Like, think about that. Like, it was it was unbelievable um, just from a permeation perspective. And their brand campaign shot through the roof. And when we look at their top conversion path, it's not like people were just going straight to their brand. They were getting exposed to the, the, the brand elsewhere, clicking through, taking a look, and then they'd search for the brand later and convert. So you absolutely positively have to run brand campaign. It's not gonna cost you much of anything, but it's going to do uh, so much in the way of, you know, helping from a data aggregation standpoint, a brand protection standpoint, um, you know, uh, uh, conversion improvement standpoint. I hope I've made my case here. Um, I plan on sending this video to quite a few clients and prospects, so I, I, I don't wanna lose any business or piss anybody off, but it's just important that, you know, you know the right way to do the, 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 the right things. Um, and we've had clients before preclude our ability to run brand campaigns and their campaigns have suffered. Um, 
And, you know, I mean, you're allowed to break the rules, but you have to know what the rules are first. So there's one of the rules. I hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.